Hi everybody, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time we got partway through the Bridged Ravine, we are on our way looking for people. We're trying to figure out where we are and what's going on. After I went off the air last time, the expedition Take had a look at just this. come back, and well, well, now here's a fine haul. For a start, we got a new area, the Exfist Sea. This recipe looks real tasty. Dwarven Sausage <laughs> Price, Scholarly Drive. We also got a treasure from the Diomal... Diomal Islands. So we got that. Twins Clothes. Junk, huh? Clothing found in the chest drawers in Diomal Islands. Some say they were once worn by two twins whose mastery of mimics is the stuff of legends. It's close him to once belong to Master Mimics. What is a mimic? Can copy the abilities of a profession simply by wearing clothing used by that profession. It's quite remarkable. Try them on and see what happens. If they're mimic clothes, then they might turn you into a mimic. Can try, but even if wearing these gives me the powers of a mimic, I'd have to put on a different set of clothes, use those powers. Once I take off the mimic clothes, I lose those abilities, so. We have no way to prove whether or not they have any powers. I uh, yeah, see what you're saying. It's a nasty pair of dogs, isn't it? Paradox. It's a paradox. So yeah. Also, I'm starting to figure out, <laughs> because of um, x that these Scout seem to be references to previous Tales games? If I'm right, I could probably be wrong. Anyway, our job for this time is to find the port that's meant to be in this direction and uh, and look out for the Van Eltia. We cannot go that way. Interesting. Still haven't learned how to jump. Oh, I wasn't expecting that so quick. What's wrong? Oh. Oh. An enemy. Sword breaker? Yep, yeah, definitely. That sword. Is that Storm Quell? Storm Quell and Storm Howl. A huh? demon wielding a foreign made sword. You must be the sword breaker. <laughs> All right, an armored fiend with a weakness to water. Not much for converse. Let's check that out because I think we're gonna need to be smart about this. So, water twin whip. Uh, still don't have anything. Ooh, shell splitter in the way of fiend. So. Just do that. Alright, let's go. Come on, buddy. You know you want to go down like a sack of crap. Ow. Yeah, boy. Well, at least take a stun or something. No, nothing. You're supposed to be like way more susceptible to. There we go. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Where is he coming? Where did he just get all the songs from? I mean, he took a stun. Surely we should have the break songs. Oh, there we go. I've got one there. Well, I've got an extra. Mm. 
a little bit more and then I should be able to... Actually no, I can just do this twice. There we go. Nailed it. Didn't nail it. She's still see. moving. Uh I'll take this one. What? Come and get me. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, Rokura. Oh. Good challenge. Look out. Wait, what? Really? Luffy? What? Don't interfere. Oh dear. What do you think you're doing? Touch me, I'll kill you. Ooh. I'm sorry. I just got a little riled up. Jeez. And he's gone. Well done, guys. Well done. Do you know that demon? No, but I know his sword. A blade called Stormquell. Right. Stormquell? Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Let's just get to the portal already. Hmm. Mm. Increases HP regeneration by 50% for characters who are not participating in combat. Who are wearing equipment that has been enhanced a total number of 10 or more times. Jeez. That's uh, oddly specific. Lavi said, Christ. I'm sorry about what happened back there. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? <laughs> Even if your life is at risk? Yep. Why? Oh, <laughs> Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Huh? There's somebody out there I need to defeat by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that, I need to be a better swordsman. <laughs> Someone you have to defeat. In a sword fight, yeah. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs me. Life, limb, hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. <laughs> Why do you need to win that badly? <laughs> to be honest, it beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Just don't do it again. Is that how you thank someone for saving your life? Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. And no offense and all, but why do you care? <laughs> you don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. <laughs> At least he's honest. Alright, I've got an issue here, because... There's definitely a Code Red Demon around here somewhere. But I... It was... Wait, did I fight it already? Did I fight it? Hmm... Yeah, whatever. Oh god. Um. Ah, there we go. So, what's that? It's a warp point. What's a warp point? I'm half tempted. Oh. Oh, really? 
So just from one side of the ravine to the other. Oh, I see it on the map now. Right there. That seems a little bit pointless, but obviously there's a reason. Alright, up we go. There was something over here, I remember. I think it was a cat's... There it is. Alright. How badly am I going to get screwed this time? 70, eh? Drop earring. Sutter so first draws the gaze and endeavours to the wearer's eyes. Hmm. I'll have to check that out in a bit. Screw off. Ah. Alright, what's inside you? Hmm. Boring. Okay. Um. Bum 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 bum. There's a herb. Ooh, lavender. I love the smell of lavender. Like, it's one of those things that is just really, really nice. Um, not entirely sure why. Vanilla is the other smell that I really love. Okay, we are... Name sounds so familiar. What? Hey, Eleanor. Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Orders? Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Will, how noble. <laughs> oh, I got it! Got, got what? The tragic tale of the sword storm quell. Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers. <laughs> Once, centuries past, there was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. Its forger shrouded in mystery. So mighty was each swing of the sword, it produced howling winds that could level mountains. Right. No other sword could match its power. The people in their superstition <laughs> began to call it the God Blade. This God Blade. Is it Stormquell? No, it's Storm How. The tale is merely beginning. Now, there was one man who was truly enamored with the Godblade. His name was Kurogane, a blacksmith of wondrous talent. His heart was set on forging an even greater sword, and he had a name in mind for this sword. Stormquell, the sword to conquer the Godblade's roaring winds. And did he make it? Kurogane forged scores of challengers to the Godblade, but each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling wind. Some say the wielder of the Godblade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth is lost to the dusty cobwebs of history. But perhaps he, and his grudge towards the Godblade, somehow yet live. A grudge that spans centuries. You hear tall tales like this all the time. That sword and its inscription we saw were probably just inspired by the legend. Mm. Perhaps. But if that's the real Storm Quell, we should all sleep with one eye open tonight. What makes you say that? Because that god blade Kurogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations. It's Some name his back is genius. Storm Howl. In other words, we could well bump into your armored friend again. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> For supposedly being so smart, Luffy says a fucking moron sometimes. Like, I'm sure it's been mentioned that Rokuro has Stormhow. Oh. Um, okay. So we're in mines? That's different. Yeah, you bugs. Bugger off. Ooh. Hello? Yeah. Well, that's the only chest in this place. 
Oh wait, maybe it's... No. I was going to say, maybe it's like... Map by map, but... I mean, either way, it's still... No chests around this bit. What the... F Is that an enemy? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Jesus. Let's <laughs> get the crap out of me. <laughs> um. Listen, Lafayette. What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get, I want her to understand that I come first. So... What do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got Jesus. It? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right. I understand. Uh, that's not what I mean. That's kind of possessive. I don't, I don't know another way to put that, really. Um. Yeah. Could have done without that skit. Um, right. Boom, shakalaka. Alright, so... Can't... Fire. A candle? What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away. Like wards around old king's tombs. I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. Some doors are sealed with a flame enchantment that cannot be opened by ordinary means, but finding and lighting candles in the area, you can dispel enchantments to open the door. So, yeah, we know that trick. My issue here is that we've seen the symbol of flame and the symbol of fire. No. The symbol of flame and the symbol of fire. What the fuck am I even... The symbol of earth and the symbol of fire. In pretty rapid succession, actually. I wonder if this will take me around to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, this takes me around. Definitely. Alright, Code Red Demon time, and then we will finish off. I think. Or should we finish off just before the Cobra Demon? Now let's do it after the Cobra Demon. Oh, it's a snick. A snicky snick. So, uh, for a brief second there, I thought I meant I can uh, go out that way. All right, let's roll. Let's go, buddy. I don't think we have a chance. Uh, we have a chance. Maybe. Let's get rid of these guys. Come, help me out here, buddy. Help me out and die. Oh, that just kind of destroyed everything. Come on. Where Alright. 
How did I just do? Ooh, I <laughs> thought we were done for. Oh, what did I just do? I hit um I hit the button for consuming chlorine and then it did that with ice and I, I what? <laughs> it was effective. Um yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's that done. Um Okay. So as we pass through this area, we will end off this video here. So next time on Tales of Berseria, we continue through the Vesta Tunnels. See you guys then.